Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 22, I believe, of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer. So, I'm still in the Forest Temple. It's actually been a couple of days since I had uh, done recordings. You know, I've been pre-recording. It, it'll probably be a couple of days before, well, between the time that this is recorded and the time you are seeing this. But anyway, I have been doing a lot of the uh, video editing, so I'm just gonna do another episode, even though there might be quite a lot more, well, quite a number of different episodes that I have not even uploaded yet, but as I said, I am uh, uploading these episodes daily. I'm trying to get this block to, no, come on. All right, there we go, perfect. Usually, I'm not having that uh, problem since the blocks usually don't move this quickly. They move quickly for the randomizer because, you know, they, they've they gone so slowly in the original game. So, it works better for them to move a lot quicker here. Alright, but that's not all. And Navi is just wanting to tell us about the arrows on the ground. In the regular game, uh, she would tell you that stuff automatically, but uh, for the randomizer, that's actually all skippable. It wasn't skippable in the base game, but in the randomizer, it is. And I've also uh, just uh, realized that there is a target that we can uh, shoot and make a chest appear. Now, I am quite certain that by the time that you are watching this episode, Thanksgiving has already passed. And I'm sure that some of you are already getting ready for uh, Christmas. I'll probably have the series done by Christmas. Oh, Red Rupee, one that I cannot even hold, even with the Tycoon Wallet, which I have 999 rupees. That certainly is quite a lot. It's certainly some... Yeah, I've seen a number of different YouTube videos that showed uh, players with the uh, the tycoon wallet, you know, having 999 rupees, which is an amount of rupees that you're normally not supposed to have, you know, because uh, the mo the most amount of rupees you're supposed to have in the normal game is 500, since the tycoon wallet is an item that you're normally not supposed to get. Yeah, I think there was a beta element that remained within the game's files. That, that some people on YouTube had uh, been, uh, you know, used a code to restore the Tycoon Wallet, and they also restored it for the randomizer. I'm not sure if I said this is in, in an earlier episode, but... You know, maybe now is a good time to actually use Den's Fire. Well, I think I'll actually use Den's Fire after opening up this door. Alright, I'm now using it. Oh, wow. They didn't even have the full cutscene play. They just had Link do his animation. Well, I guess uh, it wouldn't really make all that much sense. I bet Navi is kind of mad at us that we are completely ignoring her because she keeps yelling, hey, hey, oh, I was going to go for the boss chest, but it doesn't look like I can do that right now. Where's the ladder? Oh, there, there's the ladder. I guess I'm, I guess usually I don't, uh, oh yeah, the, the chest is on the wall. So we're not doing that right now. All right, so now we are in the room where we fight off against the first of the Poe sisters. In this case, it is Joel, or Joe as she is called in Majora's Mask. Yeah, I actually did not know that the Poe's in the Forest Temple were female at first. I mean, I guess it's just kind of hard to know. Yeah, I did not read the uh, where is the last painting? Is it right here? No, I thought it would... No, it's somewhere. Oh, oh, there it is. I passed it earlier for some reason. 
Yeah, it's not often that you are able to fight against the Poe sisters, you know, from the beginning. Like, normally, behind that door is where we get the, uh, the arrows as soon as we defeat the Stalfos. Yeah, the reason why I wasn't shielding as often was because it's much, it's very difficult to do so when playing this on the keyboard. Now, I had also been thinking about what things that I could do for when I do a second Ocarina of Time randomizer, which I probably won't do it immediately after doing this one. I may want to try out another game before Okay, so I got another key for the Gerudo Training Ground. Yeah, I may want to do another game before doing uh, another Ocarina of Time randomizer. I'm not entirely sure what game I could do. I, I guess you could leave uh, some suggestions if you want to. Alright, so that's that one down. And now to fight against the other two. I also wondered what was at the bottom of that hole that was in the center of the room. And it turns out to be the the room where we fought against the first uh, Stalfos at the start of the temple. Alright, so now we have that chest open. I was kind of scared that the game would crash, but thankfully it has not. Now this is the chest where we normally get the arrows. And we got another Sculptula token. Uh, speaking of which, uh, some things I plan on doing for when I do a second uh, randomizer for Ocarina of Time is... Well, for one thing, I'm going to be turning off Skull Sanity, because I feel as though... I've gotten, like, too many of the, uh, the Sculptulas, and, you know, they just... They just kind of ruin the whole, uh, opportunity of getting very good items in chests. So I just want to have less of the, uh, Skull Tokens, uh, Sculptula Tokens up here. And another thing that I may do is, uh... Is also have, uh, Kakiri Forest and the Temple of Time actually be open from the start. There is the option to have them be open from the start. Which I have seen, uh, some people do that. I just thought that it would make more sense to have, uh, both of those be closed off, but... Oh! Oh wait, no, not yet. Just press the wrong button. I I do hate when that happens. Yeah, someone had told me that having Kakiri Forest be closed off from the start makes it kind of guaranteed that you will get the necessary items needed to beat the Deku Tree. Yeah, I was I was like not quite sure how it was gonna go. But I kind of feel as though the Deku Tree should not be, you know, it should not be beatable that early in the game. I mean, it is the first, or one of the first things that you need to do in the in the base game. But I want to leave open the possibility of having uh, other dungeons in the game be beatable for, before doing uh, the Deku Tree. So we got two... Gerudo training ground keys. Hopefully this has magic inside of it. No more arrows. I'm not even going to collect them because I have a full quiver. Wow, I can't believe that I already have I, uh, all of the quiver upgrades. You know, normally, I would not have another key for this room. I would usually just create a warp point here, and then go all the way back to that room with the, uh, the eyeball. Hilariously, uh, normally I would... Oh, 
I was thinking of maybe using the fire arrows, but then I realized, oh, I don't have magic, so it looks like I'm gonna have to do this the normal way. Yeah, quite unfortunately. I mean, I don't have, I don't think I got a bottle with green potion. Alright, there we go. I did not think that I was gonna get it my first try. But, there we go. So now that room is all twisted up. All right, now we are in this room right here. I'm not gonna go that way just yet. I'm gonna go out here. Wait a minute, did I get everything there is to get here? I think, I think so actually. So I'm just gonna go back through here. And to now run down this hall. I'm gonna first kill these uh, Sculptulas. Come on. Okay, I'm, I'm just not gonna mind that. Okay. <laughs> Navi is like. Quit ignoring me! I'm trying to tell you something important. Not that important, Navi. We've been told many times, the ceiling is collapsing. We know, we played this game many times before. I mean, I know that there's a chance that some people may never have played this game, but I played it quite a lot of times. So I know just about everything about the game. Nothing for me to be told. Seriously, there's never any magic when you need it. Well, I guess that's not entirely true, but... You know, in this game... It just kind of seems as though sometimes the most important items in the game you don't get as easily. You know, like, if there is something really important that you need to get, and yet you aren't getting it. I mean, I need to have magic, but the game is not giving me magic. Oh, I thought the game crashed for a second. I was, like, worried. By the way, how many people think that the Poe sisters should actually be the main bosses of a temple? You know, like maybe in a future Zelda game, they could actually be uh, the boss of the main uh, of the dungeon, the main boss of the dungeon instead of the mini bosses. Okay, well, here is the fight against Beth, or, yeah, it's Beth. Or Meg, actually. Beth was the blue one. I think she's crying because I've killed her sisters. <laughs> Happy music played anytime I fought your sisters, Meg. But, you, you're also playing very happy music. At least she doesn't disappear as quickly. And it's also very easy to identify which one she is. Yeah, if you are, like, confused about when she creates those duplicates of herself, the one that spins is the real one. Kind of an odd way to give herself away. Alright, so... I guess we could probably go and fight Phantom Ganon now, but before I do, I'm gonna go back to the room where I created Feora's Wind, because we still need to get the, uh, the key, or the item that normally is found within the boss chest. I'll bet it's gonna be a Sculptula token. Although at this point, I think we've really run out of all the important items in the game. But I am just not entirely sure about that. Hey. 
And there are also a couple other things that we still have not gotten. Oh, a bloopy. Oh my goodness. Well, there's still more. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get the arrows out, but the game was just ignoring me at first. Come on. Thank you. There we go. Door is open for us now. Okay. Did I already get the sculpture level right here? Can't. Oop! Good thing I say stated because that would. I really would not hate to go all the way back up. Okay, I think that. Yeah, I think that we did get him already. If we didn't, I think that we would be able to hear him, wouldn't we? I would think so. Would you just die? Alright, so... Yeah, normally I would use Din's fire, but unfortunately I don't have magic. Okay, I did not think that I was going to be able to uh, get that one without getting uh, caught by the hand. Thankfully, I did not have to deal with that. Oh, and they also each gave some magic bottles, so we can restore some of our uh, magic. Oh, a, a purple rupee. That's a huge waste. Oh, I can't believe that. I guess maybe it would be a good idea to actually spend the rupees that I have before doing that. There are a couple of other things, other important things I would like to get done. Like, for instance, I, uh, I would like to finish off the Happy Mask side quest. I mean, I, I'm not quite sure if there's really anything good. Well, actually there is, because there's the, uh, the item that we need for that appears in place of the Deku Nut upgrade from the Deku Scrub Brothers when you show them the Mask of Truth. And of course, we first need to sell all the other masks before we can get to that. And right now, I only have the Skull Mask because for quite some time, I did not have Saria's Song. And I needed to play that in order to sell the Skull Kid the uh, Skull Mask. You know, I think that it probably would have been good to actually have an empty wallet for the, uh, you know, for when you sell the bunny hood to the running man. Because the running man will, uh, pay you as many rupees as your current wallet can hold. So I think that it pretty much is just an unlimited amount. You know, it's just like an infinite amount. It just tops off how many rupees that your wallet can hold. So... Yeah, normally, you would only be able to carry 500 rupees, but I am quite certain that if the, uh, if I had sold him the, uh, the bunny hood, and I had an empty tycoon wallet, he would end up paying me 999 rupees. Right, I think there is one more Skulchula that we need to find in... Uh, this dungeon and it is somewhere within this uh, hallway it's kind of hard for me to remember as to how I arranged the room before but I think that I should uh, okay is he in here I don't see him or hear him what's with the music okay nope that's a dead end I hear him. Did you hear him? I did. Well, not in here.
Oh, I hear him. I think he is very close by. Alright, is he here? Oh, there is another chest in here. Well, I already... I should have known that because... Alright, I should have known that because the map says so. There's no way I'm gonna... You... Okay, fine. At this point, I think I would rather it be an ice trap than rupees that I can't hold. At least that was a good item. Alright, so now we have found, I think, all of the items that are found within chests in the forest temple. All that there is left for us to do is to fight Phantom Ganon. And then we will be able to get another item, which appears in place of the heart piece. And we will also get another uh, medallion or a spiritual stone. Alright, so here I am in the pause menu. And we got 83 sculptulas. Oh, I, we haven't found the Stone of Agony, but that's actually quite useless. Okay, so the items that are left for us to find would be the... Uh, the Goron Ruby and the Fire Medallion. And the dungeons that we have left to beat would be the Forest Temple, which we are just about to, and the Spirit Temple, which we will do next. And I've also noticed that we have all but one of the songs, and the one song we don't have is the Minuet of Forest, which at this point is quite useless because we have already beaten the Forest Temple, so we don't really need that. Oh, it's, it's much easier! It's usually much easier! I was hoping that this was not going to be all that hard. Okay. Okay, at least we got him, even if we got him a little late. Yeah, with the, the portraits, uh, there are two Phantom Ganons that uh, come out, but we just need to know which one is the real one. Yeah, the fake one will just run backwards just as the real one is about to come out. Alright, is that the... Alright. I think the worst of it is over. Oh, come on! I hit at the right time. Oh, man. Oh, come on! I'm pretty sure I didn't swing too late. Okay, uh... Oh, dang it! Oh, come on. Just one hit? Why couldn't I have done at least two? Alright. Come on. Do your... Oh, it's much... It's much harder! Come on, just let me have this. I was quite certain that he was going to be done for at that point. Come on! I pressed on time! Are you just going a little faster? I think you are! Oh, come on! I'm quite certain that I am doing it fast enough. You're just doing it too quickly. I... I forgot what the point of that attack was. Come on, I should have gotten you that time. Just because I didn't, doesn't mean I shouldn't have. Come on, I should have gotten you that time. Stop unfairly allowing yourself 
to not get hit and unfairly having me get hit. Oh, come on. Come on! Seriously. Just let me have this. All right. This time, 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 this time. Yes! Come on! Alright, we got him. <sighs> Another sculpture of the token. Alright, well, we have beaten the Forest Temple. I say that things are going pretty nicely. And whatever prize we do get, at least something else will be unlocked for us. And we get the Fire Medallion. Well, if we'd have gotten the, uh, the Goron Ruby, then we could unlock the Ocarina of Time cutscene. Although, Quite frankly, there there's not really very much left for us to get in this game. But there are still quite a lot of chests that do have uh, keys in them. So I think we do need to continue on until we can find those keys. So at this point, the only thing that there really is for us to find would be the keys. But I will go through just about all of the dungeons. All right, may as well get this. Gold Sculptula token for 85 rupees. Yeah, at this point, given as to how we have a crazy amount of rupees, I may as well buy whatever I can. Just buy whatever Sculptula rupees I haven't gotten already. All right, I am now a uh, Kid Link again. Although, unfortunately, because we don't have the menu out of forest, I cannot quickly warp to uh, to the Lost Woods. So it's gonna pretty much take us a while to get there. I think that I may end the episode right here, and the start of the next episode, we will go to uh, the Lost Woods and start with the mask, or well, continue with the mask quest because we've already started it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time.